It's time for the Giz Whiz with Maz Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1993, recorded Thursday, June 20th, 2024. Whisper while you work. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Diggity has two gadgets from Housewares for the holidays, plus a brand new fancy mind reading laptop. It may not be able to read your mind. Uh, and we have another train gadget for me in the crappy corner. All next on The Giz Wiz! It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! Now! And here he is. The mind reader himself, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. I love that. That I said to Dennis tonight. I'm just going to wear a T-shirt, Chad Wiz T-shirts, and I'm wearing my Chesapeake and Ohio Steam Engine 614 T-shirt, and you're wearing a regular shirt. I'm wearing a collared shirt, which a I, collar shirt. I guarantee you, it was. May, it was within the last two months, I think I said, standing right here, I don't have any more collared shirts. Threw them all out. They're all gone. I'm, I'm New era, new Chad, no collars around. And then I, I found this one, so I had to put it on. Oh, yeah. I will forward an email from someone who said, Chad doesn't have no button-down shirt. I think he said button-down. <laughs> yes, Did yeah. You? I don't know. Said, you know who, who knows uh, what the right terminology is. He should look up. I'll send you the email. They make Hawaiian... Button down shirts. Oh, there's one called, uh, there's a very fancy, nice company called Roosevelt. Um, okay. And they, <laughs> they spell it really weird. Oh my gosh. I spelled it right and I am so excited about it. It is spelled, oops, and I don't have the capture uh, correct, so let me grab this. But it's spelled mm -hmm. R S V L T. There's no vowels. Oh, okay. So, uh, anyway, there it is. And here, I'm going to just click this. Oh, sponsor. they're pricey. They're pricey. That's the thing. But they have the IP. They got all of the intellectual property. Here's some Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja my, Turtles oh with Marvel, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, WB. Disney. So I saw Disney there, too. Right. Exactly. Disney. Exactly. Exactly. So they are really known for having... Wow great styles on really uh, nice sh quality shirts, um, but they are, I mean, here, what's uh, what's a brand you like? Uh, let's, let's do Disney. Oh, Warner. Uh, Warner Brothers, let's go to Warner Brothers. Let's oh, go go, Disney's good. I like Warner Brothers, though. They got the Bugs Bunny, and uh, and we'll see. Here, let's see, what do they got? Uh, oh, we got some Batman. Uh, Wow. See, this one's weird. So, some of them are yeah. so subtle, right? Like, I can't quite tell. What is this? Let's zoom in. I don't in. know. I Harry don't know. Potter. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. What are the references? Okay. There's an owl. Can I get any closer? Oh, there we go. There's an owl. There's a, a male. There's Quidditch. That's Quidditch. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, this is one of the house cups. More male. There's some wands, some magic wands. So one of the things they do is they really make them subtle. And so you can, like, you know, they'll use Art Deco as a style, but then they'll add in the the brand that they're working with. So Wow. Yeah. Uh, I like clothing that doesn't put me through a puzzle ringer. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like to have like, like a, it's almost like a crossword puzzle. No, you know? I'm afraid on the subway it's going to say, uh, don't get off yet because it's, we're not finished uh, figuring out what your shirt is. <laughs> I think that I think that fandom has gone so far that people want it to be subtle. You know, they want it to look good. Oh, uh, okay, I, but yeah, they want yeah. it to be subtle. Maybe maybe it's the um, the antisocial nature of uh, of our society is that we want to represent, but we also don't want anyone to talk to us about it. So if I can hide <laughs> it. And it's really a, like a, just a clue, and someone else who's oh, okay. really into that could notice the clue, but not enough to actually talk to me about. Maybe they might say, eh, Harry Potter. 
And that's that's oh, enough okay. social interaction. That's enough. You know, okay. that's it. Okay. That's doesn't that's require. Uh, uh, yeah. You yeah. don't have to speak back to that. Yeah. Exactly. I think this is the. I think this is the Roosevelt mindset or the mindset of this type of clothing. Uh, I, I might need chat room to back me up on this one if this is a. a well, someone in chat said a lower makes Hawaiian shirts. Ooh. I mean, there are some nice. So for some, there are brands, and I talked about this before in the show. That I don't understand why they're just expensive, or not brands, but like types of items. And I feel like Hawaiian shirts are one of those things. Like Hawaiian shirts are always expensive. They're always like made out of silk and nice stuff. I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. It also, it's, it also mm. seems so casual, but they're always so expensive. Um, enough about. Our shirts. That oh, that was actually, I hope it. I, at least I hope that it was uh, riveting content. Um, so you're back to at the housewares for the holidays. The, the housewares show uh, for fi uh, final two gadgets. I guess we'll just jump right in. Yeah. Um, here's one of the two of them. We're here at Eucopia, and we're looking at, what are we looking at? This is the Spice Stack, the, the product that launched stack. it all. Okay. Wow. You can store 18 spices up in your kitchen cabinet, and the drawers drop down to you. And no matter if your spices are short, tall, round, square, they're all going to fit in here with adjustable dividers. So it's a great way to maximize space, but keep your spices accessible. Oh, okay. And what does that retail for? This is going to retail for $34.99. Okay. Yep. And, and you know what? I have so many loose lids, especially plastic lids. Is this, is this to solve that problem? This is going to solve your problem. Oh, okay. Yes, this is for all the container lids you have. It has adjustable dividers that we've really strengthened. We've sold over a million of these things. People love it. It's game changing. All your lids organized in oh five my, minutes or less. Oh my gosh, and what does this sell for? This is going to retail for $24.99. And this is a new object coming out? This is out? new coming in September. In September. Yep. Oh, uh, I have your, oh, the lid organizer, but yes. it's different than this one. Yes. Yes. For pot and pan Oh, lids. yes, that's what I have. Yep, we have yes. all sorts of cabinet racks, over 75 unique products to help you get organized in the kitchen. This is great. Eucopia. And we may be showing some more video of the egg, what is it? The roll-down egg dispenser. The roll-down egg dispenser. I can hardly the wait. The roll-down so egg? What? What is, yes. a, what is a roll? You have me at roll-down egg. Yes, yes. Well, now we have, we had the thing that you could pick up the fried egg, and we had the, anyway. The, I remember the, do you remember the rolly? The, gosh, what was that? The. The egg, the rolly egg, God, what was it? You, you would take an egg, you would crack it in, and then when it was done, it would kind of pop out of the top of it, almost like a weird hot dog looking. Do you remember yeah, that Yeah, I don't remember that. It was nasty. I, I, it was, we, I remember, uh, this was back in the days uh, that Jeffrey Needles was producing the show, and he got one. And I remember we did it at Twit. I mean, you know, this would have been years ago now. Yeah, but it was time. it was a weird one. It was super duper weird. Um, okay, so uh, but the the egg uh, the egg dispenser, the roll down egg dispenser. Here's a little video, forty five second video, of the one that's on the marketplace now. And but they you can watch that's you can show it. Okay, here we go. Uh, so this is the one that's that's on the marketplace now. Now. Okay, what is what is a roll down? Oh, this is this is this is the way what you what you're putting up with now. But now ah. you get ah. more than a dozen eggs, and you just I see. take them out from the and. You get way more room in the refrigerator. And the oh, big ones, said, small ones. Yes. Oh my gosh. Does it come with a, a 2D uh, sentient creature that will live inside <laughs> of my refrigerator? Because No, it didn't, but the that's what they said, advertise. It's so popular that larger families uh, asked for a double wide. Uh, so in the fall, 
Oh, that's so funny. Scooter Rex says, I need a larger one. Ah, look uh, at that, Scooter oh, Rex. There it is. There, there it is. That's going to be shortly. You can have this. If you're just a family of two, you can get by with the uh, roll down egg what? roller. But if you have a big family, you can get the double wide. That is so shocking because what I was thinking of was actually this. The Roly, the hands-free oh, automatic. The Roly, this yes. is what I was oh, remembering. Yes. Uh, who would make these Didn't egg you products. Make, like egg popsicles or <laughs> something. <laughs> exactly. You would spray it, you would crack it, and then it would pop out the top. That is much And it was this, not particularly good, was it? No, I, it was horrible. It was really bad. Yeah, that's this is cool. a much better product, yeah. Uh, this is a way better product. The roll down egg in fact I think I'm, this is very rarely do I immediately buy a product uh, after seeing it on the Gizwiz, and this might be one of them. I, I, I hate the egg carton in. They, they're a pain. They're such a pain. I can't tell how many eggs I have left if it's been more than a day because I have the goldfish. Uh, I have the goldfish of a uh, memory, and. Uh, and so I can't, I don't remember, I don't have no idea how many eggs I have in there, and I, it's nasty, I don't like the cardboard, it gets a little soggy, like, I don't like it, I don't like it. I might get, it's only $17 on their website? Yeah, for the single version. Yeah, yeah, I only need, I don't, I don't need the new yeah. double, I don't need to go through that many eggs. <laughs> the double Y. No, I don't need that. It's funny, it looks like they have a single, a single, Within a double, but it really only holds the same amount as the single. And now they yeah. have the double, double, the, the, the quadruple, <laughs> st the four stack. That yeah. looks cool. And like this that other company, useful. this company makes a ton. Ucopia makes a ton of interesting gadgets. I have their lid separator. Um, th they make a lot of fun stuff. Not too expensive. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sold. Uh, I saw the product, and um, I'm thinking about getting it. Um, um. Now, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Scooter X is sharing uh, with us the oh, size. Oh, did he find, did he find, no, I, it'd be hard to find something like that. No, because this is, no. I agree, this is, what they're doing is very specific to what they're doing, so I don't think it's yeah. just a competitor. No, this is actually just the amount of eggs that are purchased on a typical day, uh, the Costco eggs. This is a uh, two dozen, and believe it or not, that only cost five cents. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> um, okay, that is really, really cool. The Eucopia lid storage organizer and the, the roll-down egg dispenser. Dispenser. Which... And they have other stuff, too. Uh, Amazon has a whole page of Eucopia. Um, yeah, okay, moving over to lot. Coffee Pot. Oh, there you go. They, yeah, that's just an idea of the oh, this stuff is, you cook. Oh, I have storage like sandwich that. bags and store lid sliders. <laughs> the spice rack thing that they have and things for under the sink. Oh, my gosh, I need this. I need, I have so. I have, oh, you do? You always have a different water bottle. I always have. Listen, I'm saving the planet one metal water bottle at a time. Oh okay? my gosh! I may own 15 of them, but that's <laughs> that's all part of the plan. I'm just gonna keep using them. Um, wow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, this looks great. This looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I uh, I need to browse through this and uh, pick up yeah. a few things. That's great. Um, okay. okay, on to another true. company we love. Capresso makes a lot of coffee makers. And coming in the next month or so is this. Oh, oh that's not this. <laughs> this. All right, we're here at Capresso. One of my favorite coffee makers is this little guy. Very popular. It's been around a while, but now it's available in white. But Young is going to tell us about two new uh, Capresso coffee makers coming soon. Yes. So these are our two new coffee makers uh, for Capresso. So this one is 12 cup version that comes with a glass carafe. And this is a 10 cup version that comes with a thermal carafe. Ah. So this is $100 retail 
This is a hundred twenty dollar retailer. Perfect price points for gifts. Right now, you know, I saw something about iced coffee. Yes. Do they both do that? No, only no. the uh, the twelve cup version okay. has comes with an uh, uh, iced coffee mode. Okay, and iced coffee mode does what? So it does two things basically. So first thing, it turns off the heating plate. Of course, you don't want to heat up your yes, uh, yes, you know, iced coffee. So it makes coffee with whatever the temperature of the water is yes, of that course. you put in it. But since uh, you have uh, ice already in the carafe, oh, you fill it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then at the end, of, you know, the result is a you know very cold iced coffee. Oh, okay. 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 And I assume you can select the strength you want. Yes, of course. Right. And this is how many cups? Twelve cups. Twelve cups. Yep. And, and ten cups. And ten cups. And this is under a hundred. This is hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred and twenty. Yes. This is one hundred. One hundred. Okay. And they are coming out in in July next month. July next month. Okay. Uh, two new. Well, actually, three things from Capresso. Two of them brand new and coming in a month. I Give need coffee. <laughs> the coffee's working because uh, that Capresso. Representative was on the ball. That was that was yeah. impressive. That was, was, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Um, these look great. These look fancy. They're, uh, nice. They're very the handsome looking. I believe it's their first touchscreen uh, coffee makers. Capresso, uh, like uh, Ucopia, they make a ton of yeah. coffee makers. Um, Try and yeah, th this is the Amazon page, and the, these two coffee makers that we just saw are not even on the company website yet. So they are um, supposed to be out in July. It wouldn't surprise me if it's a little later than that. But I mean, this is how many how many <laughs> products they're making. The one we saw had a really cool big touch screen on the front of it. The touch screen is really nice. As you can really see, there's nice. none with that option here. They make a lot. Every price point, every every option, so. Yeah, and and the uh, those new touchscreen they have a sixty ounce uh, water reservoir which is nice in the back, and um, auto shut off uh, when you uh, take the coffee pot out. Most old machines have that, but I I didn't ask, I didn't read it till I read the press release and I got home. Had an auto clean function, so I'm not sure how that works, but it seems pretty reasonable. Uh, the the one that makes two to twelve cups is uh, suggested retail ninety nine ninety nine so a decent price. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, tell me about these Lenovo laptops. Uh, okay, well I have a little video. Okay, and we see that first and how the event went, and then we can look at uh, the specs. All right, we're here. I'm at a Lenovo event. It's Al for everyone. I don't know who Al is. Oh, <laughs> AI for all. And we're at a rooftop down on the east side. And I have failed on one of my tricks that normally works. And that is to show up early. And then you usually find the guys setting up whatever it is that you are about to be uh, seeing. And surprise, we are not allowed to see what we will be seeing. They gotcha. Lenovo says it's time. So then it started to fill up, but then we actually one of the PR people said, room so that we can we'll give you your own room. Yoga. Oh, wow. Slim. 7X, is that right? That is correct, Okay, yes. and Kelly is here to tell us. So Kelly, I see this being pitched for the creative mind, people who want to be creative, and how is that gonna help? Absolutely, so this is the Yoga Slim 7X. So one of the real kind of main qualities is the, of this is the Snapdragon X Elite Qualcomm processor in here. So that is going to allow you to you know, have some real power to do those kind of creative tasks, as well as giving you that really nice battery life so you can be creative on the go. Um, and and did you have any figure of battery life like all day? 
We're saying all day, no specific numbers right okay, now. Okay. It has a 70 watt hour battery in it with um, rapid charge boost. So, you know, even if you are away from some outlets, you're gonna have some good power in there for a while, as well as, you know, being able to charge it back up quite quickly as well. Okay. Um, and a 3K screen, is Exactly. That right? So 90 Hertz display, you have 100% DCI-P3. So you're gonna get this really nice color accuracy, color quality, as well as brightness to it as well. Um, it's a touch display too. So, you know, kind of all those bells and whistles that you want for creative pursuits, things of that nature. Do you have um, something on it that moves that we can see? Absolutely. Ooh. Oh, backlit keyboard. Yes, of course. Is that standard? <laughs> um, standard with this, yes. Standard with that, okay, yes. okay. And then another thing to mention is that this has four speakers built into it as well. So you have two top firing speakers as well as two bottom firing ones as well. So you're gonna get really great sound quality, um, you know, kind of no matter where you, um, are using this. So there we go. Oh, okay, this is good. Oh. So we're seeing it on the screen and then in real life. Those speakers sound very decent. Yeah. The four speakers. Now this came out today, is that right? So yes, the ships today, um, starting at eleven ninety nine dollars as far as pricing goes. So once again, I'm just gonna go over to the screen here to uh, the thing so we get it absolutely right. The Yoga Slim 7X, and it's a 14 inch. What is the number after that? I guess. So the nine, so that's gonna stand for the, basically the generation oh, of the, the generation. product. Oh, the generation, oh, okay. So that's kind of where we are in our kind of release cycle. This is perfect. Kelly, yeah. thank you so much. Thanks for you for this having me. Great. No, this is wonderful. That is really, really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah. So some, <clears throat> someone's guessing at 1500 So it's 1199 And uh, it comes with uh, the, the backlit keyboard, the touch screen, the 3K screen. It's, it's had two models. It, it looks like from the Lenovo website for about $90 more, you get a terabyte of solid state memory as opposed to half a, a 500 gigabytes. And everything else looks pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah. So it's really not a bad price. The Yoga uh, Slim computers, I have, I have used them in the past, especially uh, around Twit. And their touch screens and this way the screen like can fold is awesome. Like the yoga version of the computers, uh, of their their whole line of these computers, um, has been very very good. Uh, the one like I had mentioned this kind of before the show. The one almost yeah, like yeah. it's not quite a red flag, but the one thing that you should be aware of is that the processor that they're talking about is the Snapdragon processor. That's a processor that you would typically see on a phone. That's an ARM-based processor. It's not Intel. Uh, it's not AMD. Uh, you know, you've heard of Apple Silicon. You know, that's obviously another completely separate thing. But uh, that processor, it might. There's a tiny chance that, that some apps could be incompatible. So if you, you have an app that you absolutely need, I can't really think of an incompatible thing at the moment. Um, but f like for me, I have to have Photoshop and Premiere Pro and, and a few specialty, you know, OBS needs to be able to run. I need, a, I need, there's a few things I need to make sure that will run. I would just say, check the compatibility on an ARM based computer. Uh, just make sure that, uh, that whatever app you're using is compatible um, with that. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it seems, like a nice, a very nice new laptop. Backlit, super thin. That screen is like the resolution of like an iPad. Like that <laughs> retina, like super high quality screen. Um, that seems great. Seems really great. Yeah. Very cool. All very, right. Very cool. Excellent. With that, that brings us to. Let's get crappy. You know, you don't need it. 
but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. Uh. I've got it right here. I recorded a video earlier, so let's uh, take okay. a look. Okay, we're not going to play what the so, heck is it? Oh, I mean, I guess, you know, why not? No, what the heck is it? Uh, this is the gadget, a whole gadget. Here's a piece. This is only just a piece and a part of the gadget. Here's another so it piece. it goes together. One has a, a base. Yeah. Here's the other piece. A, a lamp. Boy. In the back of that. Oh my gosh. There right, are some holes <laughs> at the bottom of that one, and then there's some pegs. Oh, we're getting antenna for TV. On this one. Antenna for TV is incorrect. Okay. I do see a correct answer. Oh, you do? I okay. do. I do. Okay. Oh, I Del Paco. And Scooter X, uh, both got it. So uh, let's take a look. Hey DGD, so we are taking a look at train gadgets, gra gadgets for commuters. And my thought was, of course you wanna get some work done on the train, but what if, or on the plane or whatever, what if that uh, tray table in front of you just doesn't cut it? I've definitely been in that situation where that tray table just wasn't enough. Entering the portable laptop stand, this is a, a laptop stand that works a bit differently. Instead of being in your lap, as you can see, it's elevated off of your knees. Oh. And they have images of people using it in commuter-like situations for car working. So, here it is. Uh, I did not want to take this packaging with me on the train, so we're gonna unpackage it, maybe put it together. It's, it's substantial. Oh my gosh, I hope that these can clip and unclip and that this is not a permanent clip together. It looks very simple, <laughs> uh, you know, arrow, green dot, arrow, green dot, to slap all that together. The box can kind of show some of the modes. Uh, they oh, can yeah. do book, iPad, tablet, that sort of thing. You get that stuff out of here. And let me set this together. Okay, it's put together. It has uh, a few little things. We'll check this all out on the, uh, the train. Uh, and it seems like it can unclip. So we're gonna unclip it and put it together on the train. Okay, so we're here on the train, obviously. We're moving through and being quiet so that, you know, I don't disturb other people. But we have a fantastic trip. I would never, ever, ever not need this, like this is plenty of space, but let's say I didn't have this amazing tray table. Let's say I was, I was on spirit. I was on, I was going spirit trains and this is all I had. You know, not good enough. So, luckily we have just the gadget. Bear with me. Really do like that. Um, that's working well. As, as 
funny as it is, it works actually pretty okay. And then when you're done with it, it's as simple as I keep feeling like I'm going to hate this thing and then I end up loving it more and more. This is, it's, uh, what, are, what are your thoughts, actually? Well, it did look very wobbly. It was very wobbly. When the base was on the cushion, and, and it was pretty easy to tip one way or the other. But your hands would basically set it there. Some, a few other features that I didn't quite notice in the train, I was a little nervous of all the, the people. Were you, in a, were you in the quiet car or was it 4 a.m.? Because you're sort of whispering. Yeah, it was, it was 9 a.m. And it wasn't technically the quiet car, but there is an area outside of the car that says it's an area to take phone calls. So I think that kind of freaked me out, and because I don't oh, really okay. ride trains that much, I was just really scared about making a ton of oh, noise. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I was, maybe I could have talked like this and it would have been fine, but, uh, but yeah, I was, I was a little worried. Um, so yeah, so this, this top piece has a button to it, right here, and it'll actually change the, uh, so this is locked in. If I press on the button, it'll move it. Oh, That's okay, locked in. Oh, okay, that's nice. So it does actually, it's not a, it will eventually like hit a thing, but uh, it has actually a lot of uh, different angle settings. Um, also, there is a, a line at the top up here, um, which apparently I don't have any electronics on me at the moment, but it would so be a pen? great <laughs> spot if I uh, had a, anything um, to put up there. Yeah, like a pen or a, 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 even a phone. And then... Um, also, if you want to unhook it, it has an, even another mode that I forgot to mention, which is that this has little feet on the bottom. So if you wanted to ditch the whole uh, thing. Oh, so if you had a big snack tray. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or if yeah, for good. some reason you just wanted, like in right here, I just wanted it literally to tilt something up, you know, and that's it. Or if I was reading a book and was going to use this for, the, you know, the booky style page holder thingy, uh, I could still just use it on a, it, anyway, it just has an extra mode, basically. Uh, the other crazy thing is uh, the price. Um, how much do you think this should cost? Uh, $29.99. That's pretty good. It is listed currently for $23.99. Oh, okay. But the day that I bought it, there was a coupon for $10 off, $13, what? and that coupon is still there. So this is only a $13 gadget, which $14. I think is a, yeah, I think that's a pretty darn good price. Uh, if you go and grab that coupon, yeah. um, I think it's worth it. I definitely think it's worth it. So weirdly, I kind of came in really skeptical of this gadget. I was like, this is kind of goofy. But honestly, it did the job on the train. And then after I got it back and kept playing with it, I kept kind of liking it. So the portable laptop stand, I think I kind of recommend it for 13 bucks. And you're sort of sitting on it, right? It's, your legs are yeah. making it steady. Yeah, exactly. Just like yeah, this. Okay. Yeah, um, I got it. Yeah. Is, yeah, you're, you're, you're on it. And, and th this is a very small woman. Like the, the, her, her legs must only be three inches tall. Like I don't. Uh, that's just, <laughs> that's obviously like her leg goes a little bit past this first little hole right here. If you oh. look at it. Oh yes, yes. And you can see the the this one. So her leg is like this big. Like that's how big her leg is. So okay. don't let that uh, fool you. A normal human leg goes up to about here. Um, okay. Uh, and I don't know why these holes are here. And some of their uh, photos, well, I guess this side doesn't have them, and this side does. I have not figured out what these holes are, are for. So your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, that's enough of Chad's Crappy Corner. Uh, we got one more commuter gadget for you uh, next week. With that, nice. let's move into Dick's Gadget 
Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. Fun. Our email is from Joe Petix, P-E-T-I-X, who simply writes, my new nail file. And here is Joe's video. Every day, it looks like I need to file my nails. <laughs> and they never come out right. I can't stand this anymore. Uh, okay. So I'm trying this. This looks like AirPods. It's a <laughs> electric file. File. What? Never seen such a thing. And me either. Right there. What do you? You yeah. stick your hand. What is it? The idea here is you open, turn on. We have a line oh. of light, so you can get see what we're doing. You put your fingers in there, and you just go around it. It sounds like it's not moving times. too fast. When I first thought of it, it's I imagine the sound of a like a yeah, I'll dentist tell you drill. What, I'm very impressed. It's been really, see? It's been really good for me. Works great. And then when you, this thing here, they look, it looks like a um, button, but it isn't. It's uh you just pull, pushes here, and it opens enough that you can get the filings off. Ah. And you can put it oh, in oh, I see. The it's the eject button. Whatever. Eject. Yeah. But uh, debris comes again like that, and I'm really impressed with it, and. Uh, I got it from Amazon for ten dollars, and I know like you get them even cheaper other places, but uh, I wanted it quickly, um, and I, I rec recommend it. Thank That's you. That's great. I had no. If you had asked me. Do electric nail files exist? I, nail clippers? I always said no. Before yeah, no, I've, I've never, I never saw that. Never either. saw that ever in my life. Yeah. So I was look, I was just zooming in on that. Look at that. It kind of scares me. I'm glad that I actually it does, watched it the video it because I'm almost, less scared of it. I feel like after the yeah. video. Uh, yeah, it I found it on Amazon. I think I. Uh, I put a link there. I think it it's still uh, under ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. nine twenty eight. Yeah. It even comes in in colors, which colors baffles me that they would even think to complicate the manufacturing process. There's not a <laughs> single person thinking, "Yeah, I would have bought it if it was in purple." Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> that just seems like yeah, they didn't need to do that. Um, oh, you know, it, it didn't get great reviews. Yeah. Um, not working than I expected. Not good for my keel, Niels. Not, not good for my Niels. Is, this one is defective. Nothing in yeah, nail. This person <laughs> likes their nail, but like... I, uh, I think it has a. I think it has a place. I don't. I think. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Hey, Ch Ch uh, uh, Chad, go up again to the pink one. That. Yeah. 
this interesting. Doesn't that look exactly the same? Yeah. Why is yeah. it so? So go to the reviews. Yeah, yeah. Just I I have found this many times. When something is dirt cheap, the reviews are usually very bad. What? But when you see the exact same thing, that looks like exactly the same thing, but it's thirty it's twenty four dollars yeah. versus uh, look at the reviews. It's because this one's priced high enough that they can buy better reviews. <laughs> you know? Uh, that makes the most sense. Isn't it? I mean, that it's very suspicious to me that Oh yeah. It it looks like the exact same device. Oh yeah. But 4.9 and the other got 3.2 or something. What's weird is this one does not show the mechanism by which to trim your nails the other one did oh it shows the flash it shows that it lights it shows up the flashlight but it doesn't show any of the ways that it works maybe there's a tiny little person in there who really does your nails that's so strange isn't that strange yeah anyway i'm very uh yeah glad with the video because uh product i did not know uh existed um by the way, if you want to get it for a little bit less money, it looks like there is oh an God. option. There is an option available. A dollar sixty-nine, it looks oh like for the pink, gosh. and a doctor a dollar seventy-six for the white. Oh my uh, on god! It's, it's a different unit. Yeah, completely different yeah, unit. Sure but the mechanism by which to cut your like nail looks so it looks similar. Looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, that's cool. That's a, a new good. category Pretty of good. thing. Thanks so, so much Joe, for sending thank you. I'll get you the August Mad Magazine off to you. That's great. With that, let's move on to the letter. Sorry. Sorry to blow everybody's ears out. Now. Our letter is from Doug Johnson, who writes, Dick and Chad. When I saw this, I was blown away. I wish I had gotten in on it on Kickstarter. The product uh, solves so many problems that I'm ordering three. Wow. One for me, one for my Coast Guardsman grandson, and one to give to a veteran. And this is what the gadget looked like on their Kickstarter project. It's actually kind of clever oh you know if you go down a little there's a little video and if you start at 120 um you get through the and it, yeah right okay. yeah back a little yeah okay clean the blades so, to actually get them clean you generate the power of the jets as you push down with your razor the water then flows back into the dish and gets recycled through filters to keep clean water blasting between your blades because the razor rinser recycles, you can shave with just four ounces of water. When you're done shaving, all the hair and shaving cream is contained to the dish, so you can just dump it in the toilet. Our goal is to raise ten thousand dollars to jumpstart production. That's awesome. Partner with an experienced manufacturer. Anyway, yeah, yeah, and you, it's twenty six bucks. Yeah, and it's a it's a very clever idea because, you know, I see these stories on TV about towns running out of water yes. and i thought you know what i i started filling a, a glass with warm water and when i shave dunking my razor and rinsing it off in the glass of water but this is kind of clever because when you press it down it's sort of according to them um, jets through y yes jets water through your razor to clean it yeah I love this. Whole, I love just this. Just four ounces of water. I like it because so what I t what I used to do is I'd get a glass, shave, dunk it in the glass a few times, yeah, same shave, thing. dunk yeah. it. But yeah, there's like a scum and like yeah. little hairs all over the thing. So I like that there's a little bit of filtering going on with the jets. So a jets that pushes all that out stays in the dish. That next jet will be clean to get rid of all that gunk. That's a cool. I like it. This is this is what inventing should be. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this just seems 
fantastic. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Is it not even shipping yet? Might not be. No, it says October 2024. Whoa. They're going to get there. Yeah, October. Yeah, so I guess Doug ordered them for the future. Yeah. Look at that. This is a smart October 2024 uh, release. Uh, perfect for Christmas. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Not a bad, not a bad idea. That's a very clever idea. Yeah, it only Doug launched Johnson. in April was the, uh, the, oh, the okay. beginning of it. But also the product seems, I, you know, this is obviously early bird pricing, but for two, for 50, you know, and I think up here one was 35 and it's 25% off. Or yeah, there was one for twenty six. I think was still available. So that means that the gadget would be under forty dollars. Still seems a bit high, but maybe there's a, a way. To, yeah, <laughs> maybe there's a way to get okay. it lower. Yeah, uh, it does not seem that bad. Um, okay, that's a good. That's a that's a good one. Keep an eye on that. The uh, what's the name of it? Um, Razor rinser. Oh, that- the Razor oh, Rinser. Razor Rinser. Oh, that's a great that's name. That's a good name. Memorable. Razor Rinser. Not as memorable as Foldy Mate, but <laughs> pretty memorable. Or the <laughs> Flapper. What was the thing last week that we had? The f- <laughs> the thing, the flabel. Oh, the flabel. Wasn't the flabel. The, 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 the fl- oh, my gosh. There were so many of them. There was flabels. Yeah, the flabel. Yeah. There were sp- spatula brushes. Spatula brushes. <laughs> I don't remember all of them, but yeah, there's a lot of them. They're very um, funny. I forgot to mention that the uh, thing printed on my uh, laptop thing is Oatsif. O A T S B A S F. Oats Bassif. I have no idea what they're what these crazy manufacturers are thinking. What is mm-hmm. going through their head? Wow. What is going through their head? Um, <laughs> all right, that about wraps up for our show. Hey, we've covered a lot. Oh, wait a minute. If you have a video idea, okay, anything to do with a gadget, like that nail file thing was very interesting. We had no idea that such a thing existed. You can buy it for under 10 bucks. Make a little video, okay? You can be in it like Joe was. Or if you're shy, just make a video of the product. Make sure we can hear it, hear you, and see the product and use a horizontal format. One to three minutes, put it up on YouTube. When you upload it, there's a drop-down menu. You can click unlisted and send us the URL. Unlisted means only people with that URL will be able to see your video. Uh, mail it to uh, mail at gizwiz.tv mail at gizwiz.tv and we need stuff immediately now immediately get recording folks uh, we, we'd appreciate it okay that about wraps it up for our show we want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz you guys support us every single episode ever it just makes me so energized <laughs> every single episode thank you guys so much for supporting our show if you like the gizwiz please consider giving back patreon.com slash gizwiz we truly support we truly appreciate all of our supporters Thank you guys so, so, so much for your support. Uh, and if you don't want to give via pay, via Patreon, I am all twisted around today. If you don't want to give via Patreon, we do have an option for PayPal at our website, gizwiz.tv. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch uh, our show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. When we're live, the website will just update with the live stream, and you guys can join along and uh, watch there. Uh, if we uh, are uh, have a schedule change, it'll be at the top of the website so that uh, you'll know. And uh, I don't think we have any schedule changes for a while. Uh, join the chat room when we're live. Chat room is a fantastic place. They're already suggesting names for the episode because they know how this thing works, so I uh, really appreciate that. And if you don't watch the show live, catch it after the fact. 
at our website, gizwiz.tv. Gizwiz.biz, that's Sticky D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on the show. So if you need a link back to that AeroPress or back to that Flapple, yeah, gizwiz.biz, that's the place to do it. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? The real What the Heck Is It? Try to guess what this gadget is. What, what gadget is in that photo? And, uh, you know, it was, uh, you, you uh, let the cat out of the bag with the flapple. This is actually the Grim to Mapple. Uh, so, uh, not to give it away word for word, yeah. but the, the Grim to Mapple. Be is, sure to send that in. Yeah, the Grim to Mapple. I think that'll get Mad Magazine signed. But Dickie D, there's six Mad Magazines for correct answers, 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guess in over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps up our episode. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>